Yeah, hello. Can you hear me now? You have called and speaking to someone else. Hello, Sandhya Rani. I'll join. Can you check? Yeah, give me give me the access, please. Yeah, yeah, one second. I'll drop a message if required. See, now you have joined us. Why is that? What, what, what's name? Uh, Rajiv here is what I will type Rajiv. just now. Okay. Okay, making you right. Otherwise, I'm downloading your presentation. Um, 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 you can do it now? Let me quickly. Yeah. Is it okay now? Is it better? Can everybody see and tell me if. Uh, you are able to both hear, see, no audio, please. Oh man. Uh, is it better now? Can you hear me now? So now you can hear me. You can see my screen. Screen is not visible. Just hold on. Let me share my screen again. Is the screen visible now? Yes, 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 Rajiv. Okay, beautiful. Then shall we start? Dr. Sanjay, yes, I'm disconnecting yes, the call. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. This is a typical sales experience, you know, because generally any other things, things are predictable, but only in sales whether it is systems or people, things generally are very unpredictable. Doesn't matter. Now, let's, uh, I mean, let me welcome all of you. Thank you for taking your time and uh, joining this uh, webinar in understanding the art and science behind uh, the direct sales. Now, as we begin, generally, whenever people think about sales, what is the first thought that comes into their mind? The first thought that comes into my, their mind is, hey, no, it's not my cup of tea. That's not for me. Some other people would say, hey, it's a very mean and manipulative job, not for me. However, there would be four pe few people who would say, yeah, I think this is uh, uh, the only path to success or a uh, shortcut to success. Are you with me? If so, you can just uh, uh, start dropping messages so that I'm clear. Now let's continue. So what is the agenda for today? The agenda for the day is like this. We will first understand what sales is and then we will definitely get into the steps and techniques of sales. Generally any sales is uh, if it is looked through uh, the, the funnel that is when it, it makes a lot lot sense. So then we will also understand what funnel we are talking about. Then we talk about as leaders, as individuals, how can we close sales? What are the general problems that would come? And at the same time, from there on, how do we lead a successful team? Now, without much delay, let me move to the next one. What is sales? You'll be surprised. A mother generally will have to generally if at all they are toddlers or young kids, have to really sell the food that she has to feed to the child, saying that, hey, you got to eat it, you will become like, if it is the male child, you, you will say that you will become like a Salman Khan or a Shah Rukh Khan. And if it is female, you say, hey, you will become like uh, Deepika Padukone or somebody else or Sindhu. Yeah? Similarly, when there are friends around and then you are planning for a trip, only one friend wins the trip. Why? Because he has put his point strongly. Not just that, 
the student when he wants to communicate to his dad that hey dad i want to do this particular project or i want to do this particular course it is highly possible that he will have to do his sales pitch really strong and not just that even when you go to the office and then ask for a leave that's the sales pitch that is involved so what i'm trying to say is sales exists everywhere whenever there is a transaction whenever there is a convincing whenever there is a sell sales exists everywhere now you might think okay what is it that this guy is trying to say and uh, even before we know what this guy is trying to say who this particular guy is and what is his journey into this is a quick journey so far now the reason i have put up this slide i will come to you in 2 minutes i am an engineer both bachelor's and master's 5 years course from iit madras worked in tvs motor company for about an year's time and then joined uh, uh, after after an year's time i joined uh, bosch uh, part of i was part of the bosch global leadership program and then i moved to mahindra and mahindra where i worked for about 2 years into product and business the joint gati had they added their strategy and electric vehicles division hello you didn't hear me of mahindra is it clear now perfect 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 i'm absolutely doing nothing guys so if if there is something then please don't blame me uh i'm just running through the presentation okay and then i joined chopper worked there for less than a year's time and then joined gati worked as strategy head and electric vehicle business head and right now as part of uh, uh, one of the strategic initiatives we started a company called avan india and i am running the complete operations of the organization now you may wonder what credibility have i got to talk about sales number one or number two you might also wonder hey this guy has got has done nothing regarding sales in his career he has been an engineer he has done a product management to certain extent business head and except for sales except for topper he doesn't see any any sales role and uh, how is that uh, a, a great thing well the reason is because i worked only for about 8 months time not even a year completely but when i joined topper in the month of december the number of say, the the sales per month are around 20 uh, around 0.2 crores or 20 lakhs while the company say company's uh, total sales were 6 crores and when i left topper in the month of june 2018 the company's sale was still around 6.5 crores that is there is a 10% growth in the company's sales but then the the territories and then the regions that i was handling grew 5x from around 20 lakhs to 1.1 cr not just that it is hyderabad has become the only city of the ho that is in mumbai to cross one to cross 1 crore per month sales and this point was a key contributor to the series c fund rise then as part of it i have handled about i mean about when the time i was about to leave in the in the mid of july i was handling a team of around 200 direct sales and the admin team through multiple layers of leadership both rankers and people from premium insurers such as iits and iims and i was handling a revenue of around 30 cr annualized now that was not a journey very easy when i thought of sharing the uh, sharing the thoughts on sales i thought i looked through multiple books though i had uh, my own thoughts of what to share i i i, I read through zig ziglar's book i read through multiple books and then every book is talking about their personal experience and it may not uh, actually be relevant to share it right then then i said okay let me put this book aside let me look at my book that is one one year's time that i have spent at topper find out what i have learned and then share maybe that would be more practical and more relevant to the indian context now when i joined in the december 2017 let me talk about few parameters right now which we will Uh, hold on as part of this uh, presentation and as we close continue in the presentation the agenda whatever we have discussed we are sure to cover so october november september october november you see the revenues are around 17 lakhs 25 lakhs and 13 lakhs then there is a red mark called bounce that means 
the check is deposited, but it is bounced. <coughs> and then there is an amber thing called undeposited. That means nobody knows what happens to the same. Now, before we get in, let me explain you the concept in Topper, which is very similar to any direct sales office uh, uh, in any of the industry. Now, we have direct sales associates who are given leads. They make phone calls. They schedule appointments towards the evening. They go to their home, give a demo to the student and the teacher, talk good about Topper as a product, how it will add value to that student. Then once the student and the parent are convinced, they exchange and then the transaction happens and then the sale happens. This is what the general flow. Now, few metrics that we measure are revenue per man month. That means every man, how much revenue was he generating a month? He may be paid a salary of 50,000, 60,000, but against the salary of 50, 60,000, how much revenue is he generating? These are few metrics which are handy for us as we move forward. Now, when I joined in the month of December, you see, the total sales are around 29 lakhs, but out of them around 8 lakhs are bounced. So the actual cash in bank is only 20 lakhs. Now, if you look at revenue per man month here, the revenue per man month is around 50,000 rupees. That means the people might be taking a salary of say 40,000, 50,000 or 30,000. And then the revenue that they are generating was just 50,000. Not just that. Let me talk about the other symptoms. There is no accountability, no discipline. Nobody knows why somebody comes to the office now, why somebody doesn't come to the office. Of course, the sales numbers are anywhere less. A lot of attrition. Attrition was to the tune of around 40%. And you have definitely seen the fake sales, right? So this was my situation then. I actually thought when I'm moving from Mahindra and Mahindra to Topper as a general manager sales, I expected it to be like this that I would be the one who is kind of conquering the territory, conquering the area, and then just the sales coming. But then you know what? After my first two days, this was my position. On one hand, there is no mercy from the management. The accountability has begun from the day one on why was the sale not happening today. And on the other hand, when I look at the team that is working with me, completely clueless. However, the beauty of being engineers is of many things that we are taught, there are two things which I always take very close to my heart. One is the root cause analysis and other one is the Ishikawa. Both techniques help us to dissect the problem, get to the core and understand what exactly is happening. So this was exactly my position in the month of December 2017. Very pathetic. Now, don't judge me. Because I'm not, I'm no longer like this. And hence, the, everything that I say makes sense. So when I went, when I looked at all the symptoms and then started getting into the core, I realized, yes, there are no sales. Yes, there is a performance issue. Of course, for anybody to make sales, there is a lot of dependency on discounts. But then, when I went further in, further in, further in, that's where I realized that the main issue was integrity. There is a lot of gray area. People are not clear of what is white and what is black, what is accepted, what is not accepted. As long as there is sales, anything can be done. Right? That's the kind of attitude. Okay. And then once you know what it is, that is when you start fixing it. So these are the quick measures that I've taken when I understood that integrity is an issue. I know integrity generally comes from within. But then only during my process here, I realized that integrity can also be induced. So what I have done, there is a clear distinction established between black and white. If a no is no, even if it costs us a sale or revenue. Not just that. Generally, there is people who are into leadership roles in sales can relate with me. So you can you can follow on with me. When a new manager comes, generally the thing is that, sir, earlier it used to be done like this. Now you have come and then you're changing it. Absolutely fine. Earlier it was done, but that resulted in an integrity issue. Detachment from the past. I don't accept glories. I don't accept methods from the past. And not just that, once you clean up things, you also need to establish clear SOPs, clear processes and clear metrics. In any sales organization or any sales rule, in general, there will be multiple matrices. 
but then identify those metrics which are very crucial to us and drive those metrics and then you will get the results as i said zero tolerance to integrity even to the extent of people losing jobs and i have fired people it of course did hurt me personally but then i have decided that i need to walk the talk and there is no favoritism everything is dependent on metrics and performance of course every day stand up meeting would happen the same thing whatever we whatever i have spoken so far would be repeated again and again and again until my last day now we understood what sales and what context i was in now we will get into how is it that from this position of a 20 30 lakh sales of which 8 lakhs are fake sales and a team of no accountability and no seriousness and no professionalism to a team that performed 1.2 1.1 cr per month and then presented or helped the company to raise c series funding let us see that exciting journey now now for any sales process right this is my my uh, my suggestion to anybody who is in sales when you you need to dissect you need to finalize your sales process in my case obviously the first one is lead generation identify your target customers i identify your target group who my customer is second one is as i said as part of my process making calls first touch with the customer give a glimpse of what the product is the third one once you created enough anxiety over the cost fix up a demo towards the evening fourth one ensure that the demo timing is honored both by customer and you and go to the demo fifth one make the sale happen this is the funnel these are the steps these are the trips and techniques of sales which now we will go deeper now when i talk about sales the first one as i said is lead generation there are three approaches one is a regular conventional approach where we kind of get uh, uh, leads the way we generally get sometimes when that doesn't work out as a sales leader or a sales person you need to be innovative to open up channels and ways of how do you increase your base and funnels width and once you do that you will have to establish those processes so that your well never dries up your funnel never dries up now having said that let us get into details what are the conventional ways procure data from various sources pay one rupee per pay phone 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 call a uh, phone number or 50 paisa or whatever get bulk leads load them into the system and start calling obviously the calls to demo <laughs> fixing ratio would be generally poor and then in such cases what happens is since it is not a system driven only people who are strong at their sales by nature can win the sales and definitely this was not working for me in the month of december then what i have quickly looked at i have identified who my focus leads are when i actually took up the region of hyderabad i was told in my head office mumbai that it's very difficult to sell education products in hyderabad because you have sri chaitanya you have narayana and you have ramaya and i said if at all there is any reason why there should be sales it should be in hyderabad because there is sri chaitanya there is ramaya i mean narayana and there is ramaya so it all depends upon the perception with which we see so then i have re- i have understood and i have seen what are the strengths that i carry fortunately one brand that i carry with me is an iitn from 2010 batch so what we have done we went to the schools and then said hey my boss is an iitn of 2010 batch he would brief your students on how to crack iits through one hour seminar we didn't just stop it at schools we went to housing societies shamelessly we have put our counters there and then we are just waiting like any other kind of a sales pitch nobody expects an educational products to be sold like that but then we said we will do it and then we said we will conduct mock examinations in the schools and help them evaluate students where their strengths and weaknesses are now these are few of the many things that we have tried and again this is not just gyan this is what we have done so that was at kals public school where the students were about 200 250 numbers where i was giving them a regular pep talk on what life is how to choose career and importantly how to crack iit one thing here i wanted to tell everybody 
in none of my sessions have i ever sold the product not just me even my team post that we never sell the product we sell the dream people don't buy products people buy dream people visualize that they own something people visualize that they become something people visualize themselves as sundar pachais and that is when they get into things now and when we tried it when we tried it the results started coming in why because my sales people would talk to them and then say hey you are the participant in the seminar i am calling from rajiv's team and i would like to come this evening and then explain more in detail of how you can make a sale and once these processes are identified all these processes are identified i have quickly established a business development team who have automated the entire process now i need not be present the bd team hunts school each and every time and then i only go and deliver lectures and then the bd team is responsible for conducting exams and collecting leads and then we started also into uh, right we we started approaching the tv channels we created toll numbers we sent outbound sms and all these things happened and we have established this process now whether you are a sales guy an executive who are who is responsible for your number or a manager don't get bogged down when things are not working out look beyond the conventional look beyond the conventional exercise your mind and then when you do that you will come up with multiple options which will help you and when you get it establish them establish them i see a cross talk it is just being can you please go on mute whoever it is okay now we have cleared the first stage the lead generation funnel and now we are getting into the calls okay what were the problems that i was facing when the calls were made when the calls were made a cus a guy would make almost 70 80 calls a day but then would only come up with 10 connects and out of which will only be able to schedule one to three appointments and even those appointments also do not happen towards the end and not just that the when these dss visit the customer for demo the customer doesn't show any interest then what we have done what we have done is we said okay the sales guy of course he is responsible to do whatever he is supposed to do but he will also be supported by a dedicated trained call center team mostly female employees here the reason is very simple when a male voice comes and then you are into some busy thing and then they say sir sir do you want a, 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 an educational tool he would say just get lost but then when the when the when there is a female voice the other side though you are busy you don't tend to be rude but then you kind of say yes you listen and then see how things can happen right just that it and there were frequent external and internal trainings given on to our sales executives again this is for managers and executives never ever think that whatever skills you have acquired are sufficient you need to train up yourself again and again and again continuously especially into the sales and then the pitch of dss was also changed because earlier they used to call as if it is a cold call but no now with the seminars that are conducted exams that are conducted talks that are given and the leads that are collected from there there is a context already hi i have come to your school and i have met you uh, right during the session i would like to take you deeper and help you understand how to crack iit or how to crack uh, 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 chipmar or aims right then there is a context now when we have done it then you may say how oh, great was there a result yes of course there was a result so in the month of december as i said we were at around 30 lakhs and in the month of january there was no much breakthrough in the month of february yeah fab there is a little 10% increase but then the jump has come in the month of march where from 45 lakhs we were able to jump to 67 lakhs per month that is roughly around 50% jump so let me tell you my friends here whenever you are in sales don't be disappointed even whatever you are trying whatever you are uh, do things that you are trying if they are not working don't be disappointed these are all piling up one by one one by one the calls will be rejected the calls will be unanswered you will be heard unpleasant things you may not be welcomed into the home doesn't matter all your efforts would never go in vain but they are into step by step by step and they will give you result once you know and when that result comes this is how mind blowing it is 
But then again, to the managers and to the leaders, understand. One of the greatest and important things in sales is motivation and reward. The reward could be the incentives or anything else. And whenever there is a success story, even though as smallest as it is, don't ignore it. Don't you ever ignore it. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. Encourage the team. You see, in the month of March, we did 67 lakhs. And then if you can see here, on the 2nd of April, so 31st of March, we closed our books. And first, there is a break. And on 2nd of April, the very, very next day, I took my team for an offsite, which never happened. Now you might say, how is it possible for you, Rajiv, to arrange for an offsite in a one month in a day's time? Okay, now the secret is, I was confident of my team even before the month ended. I knew for sure that my team is going to rock this month. And then actual work on identifying the location, identifying the activities, and identifying the speaker and trainer. Of course, this is not just a fun. We also had a training that happened during this time. This was happening for the past two weeks. I mean, uh, since 15th of March, most of my team even and now do not know. Maybe they might be knowing now whoever I've joined from Trotter. So the rewards cannot wait, both for the managers, both for the management and for the executives. Rewards for sales cannot wait and they need to be instantaneous. Again, as I said, this is not uh, the thing. This, this is not some kind of a story. This is a reality. This is how we have much fun in Alankrita, right? Now, let's come to the next two. One is demo fixing. That means, okay, you, you generated leads, you made the calls, you got, you, you got to fix the demo, and then you are going to go and do the demo. What were my problems there? Always, always, when you are here, when you are a sales guy or any guy, always hear a problem solver hat. If you do not wear a problem solver hat, you will always look at a problem as a problem and you will be stuck where you are. There will not be progress. But then when you start wearing a problem solving hat, that is when you will start looking out for ways to solve the problem. That is when you will get into details. That is when things will move from the status quo and grow progressively up. Major problems, honoring the demos fixed. That means in the morning when you call the parents and the students on the call, they say, oh, wow, yes, yes, please come 5.36 in the evening. <laughs> and then when we call at around 4.35 to confirm, they either say, sorry, sir, my father went. Sorry, sir, we went, we're going for a movie. Sorry, sir, there is something else. Sorry, sir, we're not there. At least these are good. There is a response. There are many, way, many times where they don't even answer the phone calls and they kind of switch it off as if we are going for some money. That is one. Number two, even in our demos, we had uh, one of our uh, team members. Uh, sorry, I will reveal the name. His name is Babu, very close to me, very close to my heart. Whether it is a 10,000 rupee sale or 1 lakh rupee sale, his demo would at least long for three hours. He prepared for civils. He could not make civil, uh, he could not uh, clear civils. And hence, every student he looks at, he would look at as a potential civils candidate and he really want to enthusiasm him and excite him to be a civils guy. And there are other people who would finish off the demos in just 10 minutes. There are dashboards where I could see and then the demo has started and then in 10 minutes is done. So that was one thing. The other thing was logistics problem. One would be at a corner like example. One demo is in Pune. The other demo is in Bangalore. Example. One is in say, for example, high tech city. The other one is Uppal, right? So these were the problems that we came. Again, as I said, a sales guy can't but wear a problem solver hat. And this is how we have tried and solving the problem. Now, again, my friends, I'm not sharing this because that you will get a job into Topper and then you will do it better. The fundamentals and the principles remain same, whichever company it is. Now, the solution. I have introduced a new breed of sales team. You know whom I brought in? The fresh IITians who are my juniors from IIT Madras. I have given them a title called Academic Consultants and then brought them in. Generally in IITs, during the placements, people are crazy about this title called Consultancy. They join KPMG, they, come, they join PwC, they join McKinsey, because they think that consultancy is a great, of course it is great. And then when my management said that, are you sure IITs would join, I mean, they, they join for a managerial role, but are you sure they join for a direct sales association? I said, they will. It all depends upon how we sell. If I'm able to sell to an IITM to join, that means I'm successful. So their role is changed, their pay packages are changed, their incentive structures are changed, and then the designation is staying changed. 
and then you might say what would happen if an iitm comes or as a sales guy look the sales pitch has changed the sales pitch therefore would be hi this is rajiv 2010 batch from iit madras bachelor's in engineering and um, bachelor's in mechanical and master's in automotive engineering i would like to come to your home and teach your kid on how to crack iit look at the difference in the impact this would create the demos fixed to demos cancellations have dropped significantly even if there is any important thing the student and the parent would wait because they know that somebody who is more important than the prime minister is coming because this person who would come has actually outlived the dream of the child who is at home so number one my demos fixing no problem my demos schedules and then conducting the demos no problem and then what we have done we have standardized the pitch we said that hey this is what you will talk this is what your slide one would be this is what your slide two would be and this is what it is nothing more nothing less standardization of sales pitch and not just that we also in created a, again you we also need to use technology we brought in a technology called automatic lead assign, assignment where people based out of their houses the area was marked for them and in general they will get leads from the area they will make their demos in the area they will clear those demos and then they go home so my logistics problem is also solved okay so far good and then the most important thing is the right and the final thing that is when the sales would happen how would the sale be converted closures is the most important thing all your efforts so far are definitely from your efforts wise they might be 90% and your efforts pending is only 10% but from your returns wise you you always need to see the returns on what all you have done so far will only account for 10% you will get the return of investment of all your efforts only when you close the step 5 significantly and that is when you get 100% return on your investment okay then let us see while i talk about it i will definitely talk about again a part of the agenda the individual performance closing of a sale or how uh, the, the uh, not just the hunters not the just chasers will make the sales but then anybody who would be in this role will make sales the problems number one trust issue because top at the time was competing with byju's even now is competing with byju's and if you see byju's sharuk khan would come and then say that hey i will make your kids smart okay and uh, unfortunately we do not have a byju's uh, we do not have sharuk khan but then one point was always driven to my team is that they are the sharuk khans of topper so they are competing with the original sharuk khan and they are the sharuk they are the sharuk the comp- i mean they are the sharuk khans of topper and then whenever there is a trust issue i advise them to refer my linkedin profile the founders linkedin profiles we have given certain uh, uh, packages to dr praveen who was the uh, uh, who was taking care of the gurukul patrashala of telangana government then and there were news articles where many of the people from the underprivileged uh, sections were able to crack je we took that so everything that is required to add credibility we brought them in okay credibility was good trust was good everything is fine but i don't have money i'm sure most of your customers also come up with this point right i don't have money instead of bullying them and pushing them and then saying that hey somehow i need to get the sale that is when you look you appear manipulative again you will have to hear a where a uh, problem solvers had that is when we brought in capital float we brought in bajaj finance we brought in different credit companies with whom we tied up so that there is a less burden a 2 lakhs uh, kind of a product you might ask what are the uh, uh, ticket sizes my ticket size would vary from 3000 rupees to around 2 lakh rupees right and then we would facilitate it to the customer so that he doesn't uh, really feel the burden of it and then the capability confidence issue there were multiple role plays one on one coachings and recorded customer testimonials hey for example the previous students i have taken topper and then my all india rank in iit jee was 1700 right and then people used to say sir these are examination times and people are not giving us time to conduct demos i used to do a one on ones with them if not during any other time it is during the examination time people need this product because if you look at a conventional way of revision it would take you say 3 4 hours but if you revise with technology you will complete the same thing in 20 minutes to 30 minutes 
So all these things were brought in and then every problem was attempted to be solved that way. Okay, again, for the sales leaders, you have no escape from leading from the front. You have to walk the talk. I did go to multiple demos personally myself and I really enjoy uh, going with my team. Okay, enough of this. Now again, time to review results. Yeah, let's go. While we consistently did this, you remember we went to Alankrita when the sales were 67 lakhs. I made a statement and I gave a call to the team. Team, can we go to a one CR per month? And then the team and most of us are surprised. Most of them are surprised. One CR, we just moved from 45 lakhs to 67 lakhs. This boss is too crazy and too demanding. Just because he was given a party at Alankrita, now he's demanding one CR per month. But then the ability and then the path which the team has come, they haven't seen it, but I have seen their ability. And then it did not take much time. Month of March, 67 legs. April, May, and in the month of June, we were one CR. Again, as I said, celebrate every moment, even as small as it is, celebrate every moment. And then there are also certain prestigious leagues, like in most of the companies also you have, right? We also had a top of premium league. So in Topper Premium League also, we kind of, uh, uh, right, as part of this chase, Hyderabad won the Topper Premium League. And then there were celebrations all around. So this is the journey. In the month of March, we were at around 67 lakhs. We stabilized that in the month of April. We picked up in the month of May. And you see here, every time we made a jump, the jump is at least 40% to 50%, nothing less than that. And that is because of the consistent efforts the team has been putting. And then the beautiful thing that I want you to show, I want you to focus here is, we made a sale of 110 lakhs and our cash in bank, cash in bank in the sense, against the sale, how much money is converted into our, our, our accounts was 109 lakhs. That means just one lakh and that was not a, 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 a bad sale it was an accounting or something else now you might ask what all things that you have done there are multiple things we have done we have introduced incentives where the salary of people is around 30 40 thousand but then they take 1.5 to 2 lakhs as incentives uh, yogaraj suraj patani or anybody else who is part of this particular thing i want you to comment how much you are earning right and suraj who is one of our members there you also won a trip to UK, right? So rewarding is compulsory and rewarding is must. So all those proper guys who are watching it, all the sales guys, put down your incentives, what you have taken it. Proudly show the, the effort and then the result of the efforts and sweat that you have put in. Now, as I said, I want you to see, in the month of December 2017, 30 lakhs May, 20 lakhs is the cash in bank, and around 8 lakhs is the fake. And in the month of June 2018, that is less than seven months time or, or less than eight months time, the 20 lakhs has become 110 lakhs and the cash in bank percentage has become 99%. Again, I almost spent the entire night making this presentation because all these graphs were, uh, it's almost two years and I never had, when I was saving this information, when I was making these graphs, I never had a thought that I would do a session, something like this. But thankfully, by God's grace, I was able to locate wherever they are and then get into the old charts and finally bring them in for the session. And now the most important thing. Now you knew how do you identify your target group? What are the possible innovative ways you will look into in increasing your funnel? What are the ways you will dissect a problem and arrive at that step by step funnel? Identify each step and increase efficiency at each step. How you as a leader need to pitch in in the time of need and then start demonstrating the team. And then how from an individual perspective, how do you become a leader where you leave uh, uh, right, an impact and a sales team which would lead irrespective of your presence or not to success. Let us continue. So if you look at this, our one day's revenue when I joined in the month of December was around 1.5 lakhs. How many people were present? Around 24 people were present. This 11 means that around out of 24 on-roll people, 
13 people are apps i mean were off and then the revenue per man month was as i said what was around 50000 rupees per month now come to the last day when i was leaving the organization look at the number the revenue for that one particular day was 5 and 1/2 lakhs 1.4 lakhs to 5.5 lakhs 3x growth and then look at the revenue per man month of course this is just for hyderabad 30 members team is around yeah 4 lakhs 53000 and as as an average if you look at as an average if you look at this particular thing you come down the okay now you might say that no it is just just uh, one region you are able to handle it no i wouldn't buy that because by the time i showed the potential potential uh, to the management management quickly said hey i think you have much better potential to handle bigger roles so from hyderabad i have given nasik i have given pune i am given nagpur i am given chennai i was handling all these views and all put together there were around 134 sales associates and the rest of the uh, rest of the supporting team and other things and again just giving to you our per day revenue was around as an average of 9 lakhs and then our mtd this was by 29th june right was around 2.4 cr so there are there are, there are still uh, two days left but i did not get that chart and hence i just picked it up and look at our revenue per man 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 day is around 6000 that means you multiply with 30 days uh, it's around 2 lakhs so 50000 rupees 2 lakhs and then this is one of the uh, one of my managers satish he gave me a gift sir this is the departing gift that we will do ever is in the history of topper on the day that you are leaving and then they did it the 5 lakhs is the revenue that they did now what is the proof that i have left a team or i have left a a, a, a successful team uh, behind me yeah zishant hayer was the uh, is the founder and ceo of topper and this is the comment from him when i was leaving and these are some of the comments from the managers right Uh, I, I, I believe the combination of them. Vishal is a, a, a ranker. That means he grew from different levels, and then he mastered the art. But then there are also managers who are from IITs and IIMs who try to quickly pick up things. Right? The beauty was I was able to handle both of them, and I was able to learn a lot from both of them. And not just that; these are the proofs. So Bedi is the senior vice president, who is my skip level boss, and these are the uh, comments of him uh, that right eight awesome months. and uh, hide wa- hyderabad to one cr that was a big thing guys that was a real big thing and uh, of course and then the southeast was the region i was handling 2.5 cr remember 6.5 crores was the revenue of the company when i joined my contribution was around 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs that was in the month of december 2017 june 2018 the, the revenue of the company was 6.5 crores 10% growth my contribution has moved from 20 30 lakhs to 1.2 cr just from hyderabad and from the rest of the regions it has moved to 2.5 cr so out of 6.5 crores around 40% of revenue is generated by me again this is nothing great it is all definitely god's grace and then the support of the team but then what i'm trying to drive is if i who did not have any prior experience into direct sales into b2c sales was able to turn around things in 7 months time then what is stopping you you can also do it all we need to do is have the right attitude towards it let's continue let's continue so this is my immediate boss now you might say that whatever uh, uh, just uh, these comments will only reflect the journey that i have taken so far hyderabad clean up part 1 which means as i said there are a lot of integrity issues and there was no tolerance at all people who said that this is wrong people who have uh, uh, i mean who, who, which is known that this is a gray area it should not be done and it is done no other discussion direct pink slip then we first moved to 50 lakhs again in the month of march mid march as i said ala is an automatic uh, lead assignment software that uh, we we kind of uh, introduced this was introduced much before in topper but was rolled back because people always wanted to have a hold and visibility on the leads but we said no nothing do it we put our processes very clearly you only call the leads that will fall into it and then we will ensure that you will get the sale and this is again a testimonial thanks for also finding and grooming some germs among the ruins in hyderabad right and then uh, okay this is again as i said 
these were my uh, my my days with the team those were my departing uh, moments right there were so many cakes that we have cut so many gifts that i have got and we, we we had a lot of fun what i'm trying to say is guys through this journey of say 45 minutes or 50 minutes i took you through my journey but i'm sure in the process we discussed what sales is we understood how to handle sales especially direct sales even for it, even if it is b2b the fundamentals remain the same even if you are a b2b sales guy you need to identify who your targeted customers are you need to you need to build a funnel how many customers i will identify how many customers i will make phone calls how many customers i will take an appointment how many customers i will meet and how many customers i will convert you will have to make that funnel for yourself and understand the ratio at each of the funnel and you need to work whichever is the red area in my case everything is red area but maybe in your case it may not be the same i didn't understand that red area and work on it and then as a leader when you do this consistently day in and day out and day in and day out you are bound to lead and leave a team which is successful i'm sure i was able to if not change your minds but inspire your minds to have a different perception that sales is fun don't ever say that it's not my cup of tea in fact any department even if you are in procurement even if you are in hr even if you are in finance in every interaction of yours when you are giving your point strongly to your uh, colleague you are selling your point there is sale in every transaction and every conversation so we have no escape so better love sales because sales is fun and then the second important thing is sales is not jugaad and sales is not manipulation if people think that they can get over get through through jugaads and manipulations they can only get to that level sales is all about integrity you need to have that integrity at the base of your heart from the bottom of your heart you need to be true to yourself and you need to be convinced about the product you cannot say that my product is a bakwas product and then i will sell my product no i was convinced of my product i knew i was a 360 rank holder in iit je but i knew if only i had a product similar to topper when i was preparing for je probably i would have landed up in a better rank this is the statement i was making and the repetition of these things my team is also very clearly convinced that yes they will know i mean they 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 are convinced that their product will make change and impact to the customer's place always remember guys a sales you are not going just because you wanted a sales sales you are going to your customer place or you are pitching to him somebody because you are going to make their lives better their lives better you are bringing that and making their lives better and definitely when you consistently do it sales is definitely the sure shortcut path to success and when i was leaving topper i was definitely i was definitely leaving topper with a feeling like this and i'm sure i have taken you through this journey where the science of sales you need to logically look into your sales funnel you need to logically understand where your pain points are you need to technically get solutions to them and at the same time you need to be artistic in inspiring people you need to be artistic in motivating people you need to be artistic in selling not the product but the dream thank you very much with this i believe i was able to if not give you mantras of sales but i was able to show you a path i was able to inspire at least some of you that sales is everybody's choice and sales is not a rocket science if only looked at it rightly it can be mastered and this these are my credentials in case you want to stay in touch and then continue this discussion on i'll be more than happy to continue to support you i hope i hope you have enjoyed the session i have enjoyed not just the session i i i i've been enjoying since last night because i was looking at all these old chats i was looking at all these screenshots i was pulling all of them i felt very emotional i felt very emotional and then i messaged my sales team hey guys wherever you are wherever you are just come let's come let's let's relive those let's relive those moments right and and life is all about making this positive impact in people and sales gives you that opportunity to make that positive impact in the people don't ever miss an opportunity or a career in sales all the very best and i leave it thank you very much santosh and thank you very much dr sandhya 
Thank you very much for the MSME team who has given this opportunity to interact with so many people uh, and share my journey on the uh, topic of selling not without actually selling. I never sold, right? I never sold. We only sold dream, not the product. Thank you very much. And I leave it to you for question and answers. Guys, whoever are following me on Facebook, please put down your questions. Please put down your questions. If at all you have any, I will answer them. I will answer your questions. Yes. Put them down in the comments. Sandhya Rani, Sutosh, are there any chats? OK, very hands on session. Uh, let me read and then. Uh, OK, thank you, Rajiv. Very hands on session. After a long time, I have my boss words back. Oh, Yograj, OK, you are there. Excellent, excellent. Very nice. Thank you very much. And uh, what are the I want to ask, according to you, what's the most important trait to look at while hiring any sales guy? OK, while you're hiring any sales guy, the most important thing that you need to look at is simple integrity. Understand whether that guy is a guy of integrity and see whether he has got that passion in him. Because my friends, skills can be imparted, but it takes a lot of efforts to bring integrity. It took me a real hell of, hell of me to bring that in my team. And now I'm, I'm very much proud that wherever they go, they live to those standards. Look for integrity, look for passion. Skills can be acquired, skills can be induced. What are the other questions? Let me look at. Uh, I have created positive impact in Topper too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Wonderful session. Just an awesome session. Thanks, Rajiv. Very nice. Any questions, please feel free to put them on. I, I thoroughly, I really thoroughly enjoyed uh, right, living through this journey, talking through this journey, and sharing this excitement. Right, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed. And any point of time, given an opportunity, now that I'm, I, I'm of course, I'm also off, uh, uh, handling sales, but uh, uh, through my team. But uh, any of any time, I'm given a pure sales role, I would love to jump in and then take that. Okay, Parul Goel, my brother works with Topper Two. Suraj Patani, we miss you. I miss you too, Suraj. I miss you too. <laughs> OK, there is one question. There is one question. Let me look at that question. How you overcame the competition like Baiju's in the field? Because they are very cash rich. And how you won the customers? Good question, Vishwanath. Baiju's is cash rich. And then as a company, as a number two in company, we had our problems. For example, when I on this TV, <laughs> I see, I mean, even, even when my, when my uh, associates, sales associates go to the demo, and then when they start the demo and then if the student watches the TV, here is the topper direct sales associate sitting and then there is the <laughs> Baiju's ad and there Shah Rukh Khan is selling it and then here the poor guy, right? But then, as I said, the team has to be convinced. Shah Rukh Khan will never come to your home to help your child, but my Shah Rukh Khan will come to their home to help their children. Anytime they have a problem, anytime they have doubts, they can call to my team. So. There is a lot more built around it because the flashy advertisement, the flashy cash burn can only bring the visibility. But then the convincing and the conviction and the sale will only happen through interaction. And that is what my people were strong in. As I said, they, they are my uh, Shah Rukh Khan. So they never, we, we had the, the doubts earlier. In fact, uh, not to undermine the statement, as I said, December 2017, the company's turnover was six crores. June 2018, the company's turnover was 6.5 crores only. It only grew by 10%. Whereas, as I said, I, we, we grew Hyderabad from 30 lakhs to 1.2 CR, and I was handling around 2.5 CR. That means Baiju's was eating away our sales in different locations, but not in Hyderabad, and definitely not in the areas that I was looking for. We were eating away the market share of Merit Nation, market share of Baiju's, market share of name, anything. We were eating away their market share. What do you think the reason is for the areas not being as successful as your during stint at Topper? What do you think the reason is for the areas not being? 
can you please elaborate that question i am unable to understand sudhir sudhir gandam okay i see some of my uh, ex topper uh, hr team also joining and then uh, any other questions okay somebody says let's have a session on sales regularly <laughs> good can you elaborate more on integrity marketing team guys what ability he needs to have okay so my friend uh, this is vadivelu right integrity has got nothing to do with the vertical that you are in even if you are in r and d even if you are in operations even if you are in sales or marketing integrity is how true that particular person for himself and how you as a manager can be relying on that person because he would not show an iphone and then say no this is not an iphone this is a real me <laughs> right that would happen so integrity is something to do and i would tell my people always that's what i used to encourage also if some things went wrong don't lie don't cover it up that's okay machines don't make mistakes human beings and people make mistakes and people make mistakes because they have been they are trying something new which they never tried before right so we need to encourage people making mistakes that is how i was groomed upon my managers were enduring my mistakes and hence i grew and hence i will endure the mistakes of my team and hence i will let them grow so we need not be judgmental because the minute we we bring, we, we bring judgmental attitude to the team then they become opaque they will not be transparent and slowly that integrity dissipates so integrity is being true to themselves being true to yourself and when the truth comes in whatever you wanted to if if they, if somebody doesn't know something he will say i do not know you can fill that gap if somebody says that i am good at something you can say that he is good at something and then you will use that as a leverage to something else right so people who are following on facebook can i have some likes and uh, all those emoticons uh, all those uh, uh, emojis I, i just want to see them some love symbols likes etc and of course many questions any other question what will you what is what is the strategy for selling services it services okay pata whichever the product it is right whichever the product it is what we went through is a schema what we went through is a skeleton the schema remains same whichever product whichever it is it is the same identify your right customers connect with your right customers give the right demonstration of your product to the right customers but before that believe you believe in your product you believe that your product will add value to the customer more than to you don't think that if i make this sales i'll get a uh, incentive of 25000 rupees no your approach should be if i make this sales i am able i am able to impact one particular family here if i am able to make this sales i am able to impact that entrepreneur or that company there when the attitude gets into that money automatically follows and flows don't worry about it but then when you get into that the sale would automatically happen apart from marketing direct marketing can you speak little bit about other channels where we don't meet face to face digital uh, marketing and how do we go how we go about there i think this is a very interesting topic right because post corona virus uh, post covid 19 Uh, things may not be same when you say that i will come to your home <laughs> the customer may not be as happy and as willing as they are come to my home right so uh, the only uh, thing is the, the physical interaction definitely would come down but the the technologies the techniques and then the schema remains the same yeah you don't have to meet face to face but then okay let me put a question how many of you were able to see passion while i was delivering the talk today please say yes or no how many of you are able to do see a passion while i was delivering the talk yes passion cannot be hidden my friend so whether it is face to face or whether it is through digital media or whether it is through whatsoever the channel it is passion can be seen and you be passionate about your job and then the sales would automatically come yes energetic passion thank you thank you any other questions on on the facebook sudhir gandham can you please repeat that question what do you think the reason is for the for other areas not being oh other areas you mean the other geographies not uh, being successful you mean why uh, mumbai and other things not being successful okay this is something i want to tell you guys what i have seen is generally any employee at any level right tend to not own up things in the sense 
I do because my manager told me to do. I do because I will be asked in my review. I do because the steering committee is behind me. No, as long as you have that attitude, there will never be such kind of a drastic difference in performance. Only when you own things up. I used to behave as if I'm Zishan Hayat of Hyderabad. I'm uh, here to you. Uh, this is the feedback of my manager, right? People are very scared to go to weekly incentives, right? Hyderabad, I have rolled. I mean, I have rolled the Hyderabad weekly incentive to Hyderabad and I never rolled it back. And it never, it was never rolled back. And you see, his, it was deployed with such a vigor that the entire company has to convert into weekly incentives model, right? So start behaving as the owner of the company, then automatically things will, uh, uh, things will be better. Somebody said it's your passion that brought you here, not your experience or this thing. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. It's above all, it's my God's grace that I'm here. He gave me the right opportunities and right wisdom. I'm getting into sanitizer sales. Need a suggestion from you. There is a lot of competition now, but most of them are not certified and approved by authorized labs. Our product is approved by European standards and has been tested. So how do I beat the competition? My friend, you are able to get it. Very right? simple. These are some techniques. Fab analysis, right? What is the feature? What advantage this feature will give and what benefit it gives? You yourself said most of the competitors are non-certified. You have a European certification. Play that card. Play that card. That's it. Play that card. Any other question? So other areas were not being successful because this, I think uh, people could have done better uh, 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 considering and owning those things up. And I only think that they would have run the sales the way they wanted to run, but they re really did not run the sales the way they, uh, I mean, and a CEO runs the sales and I think that's the reason. Uh, yeah, any other questions? My friends, do not be discouraged that this is the only session. I've given you my credentials. You can contact me on LinkedIn. You can contact me on Facebook. You can contact me everywhere. I'm always ready to give whatever the knowledge that I've gained from my peers, from my seniors, from my team to share it to you. How do you sell online classes for things like storytelling or hobbies? My friend, everything has got see if at all there is a product, there is a product because there is a need there. Understand that need and build your dream and story around this need and tell. People buy stories. People don't buy realities. People buy stories. People buy dreams. And then let there be genuineness in those dreams and, and that you are sharing to them. Don't tell them that you buy Topper and you become Sundar Pichai even without uh, studying. No, that is the wrong thing. You tell them that you are buying Topper. Now better you spend at least three, four hours on this so that you can become a Sundar Pichai. Right? That is how the dreams are to be built. Can I download your video? Uh, I will try to upload this. I think Santosh will upload this and then share the uh, uh, thing with you and then definitely you can download the video. As entrepreneurs, if we can't hire a big team, what is the smart way to make skills? Great, my friend. You don't have to see. There are two things. Always you need to bring in, especially if you are an entrepreneur, right? You need to bring the multiplier effect. That means the, the, the effort and then the effect that you bring as an individual must be multiplied without you. For example, again, I will go back to this. Initially, I did not know what to do. So I myself went to the schools, said that I'm an IIT and I want to talk to your people on how to crack IIT, etc. And then I went. But then once that is done, I have deployed and established. So do it by yourself first. Set the process and then hire only limited versions of yours. You do not hire anybody else. If you are good at that sales, hire versions of Rajiv and then let them let them do it. You don't really need to have, see, for example, my friends, it was 30 members team that did 20, 30 lakhs business. And it was the same 30 members team that did 5 lakhs business. I did not increase the numbers from 30 to 100 to make the 5 lakhs business. No, it is the team that made it. And that multiplier effect is only possible that direction. What is the difference between online sales and offline sales? Which was the most challenging and how did you tap on it? Okay. Happy always to be. Yeah. So Satish is also part of it. So this is the guy. Okay. Let me, let me, let me take that, uh, his message, right? Satish, uh, right? So he is the one who gave it. And not only Satish, right? There are, there are people like Sudhakar. There are team leaders like Chaitanya. There are team leaders like Bhanu. There are team leaders like Nikhil. Uh, then Praveen, Lakshman, um, uh, Stephen, right? And uh, and then associates like Yograj, Suraj, Pradeep, 
um, uh, Suman, so many. I mean, we 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 came to such a comfort that my team would go to any extent. You know what time my team would leave to reach their homes in the nights of the demos? Eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, one o'clock in the night, and yet. The next day, nine o'clock in the morning, they would come running. Not because I would scold them, not because I was keeping a tab on them. That's because they fell in love with their jobs. They do not want to miss that 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 feeling of it. Why couldn't other regions of Topper match with your region success in terms of success? I think that's the right question I have answered. As I said, you need, people who would have been conventional in their approach had only their their uh, organic growth. We were never conventional. We always questioned the. Uh, the convention we brought innovation into every step of us we used technology to start and solve problems whenever there is teams problem whenever there is sales associates problem i used to be the first one to address it the team must always feel that their manager is behind them and when you demonstrate it the only reason i would say is use of right technology use of right methods and equipping the team rightly ishikawa man method process all those things were done rightly and hence we were able to get that success and not the others uh, other regions i wouldn't say they were not successful they we were little more successful because those are my friends i do not want to offend them because those are also great great managers that i have come across young guys but absolutely great i have learned a lot from them too sandhya and santosh uh, how long we continue uh, uh, are we done or do we really wait till 7:30 this was sent to you privately click okay some private message to me just a minute ashish here hey hi ashish great great nice nice to see you so let me let me show some of my i mean i'm i'm really excited here i'm really excited so uh, you see those guys here uh, that ashish is uh, yeah here is that guy ashish right if you can see uh, i mean above all i earned friends for life through my team right i earned friends for life through my team so this guy is ashish and he is mahender he is chiranjeevi he is yogaraj of course we also had female employees in the sales eh? not just the male uh, team he is our trainer he is karan our hr guy a very right hand person praveen vamshi uh, then um, naidu pavan naidu chaitanya chaitanya then uh, uh santosh uh, santosh chepiala uh, many guys bhanu where is bhanu did not come to that session so awesome i'm i'm very nostalgic here i've become emotional <laughs> let me see the questions what's your advice to entrepreneurs and sales people in this crucial situation how to you cope with it my friend always believe if you are an entrepreneur or if you are a sales guy believe yourself and believe in your product first again the approach should be that your product if it is sold not add value to you much but it adds immense value to the person who is receiving it when your approach and when your presentation is like that things will happen do not worry it is a crucial time people will find it really hard to open up their uh, their uh, their hands and then spend but then create that need create see there are some some terms right fomo fear of missing out use them there are things like discounts use them there are things like sir it is only available now it cannot be it's okay use them and then i used to run <laughs> offers which would only last for one hour i would say in this one hour anybody who comes to a negotiation stage i will give 30% discount flash and then my number of sales which were like this would become just like this right so as leaders you need to identify what levers you need to play on what is your requirement and accordingly uh, pull your levers and uh, when the discounts were too many i ran individual i i ran different programs such as if anybody uh, sells a product at less than 10% of discount there is a cash reward less than 20% of discount there is a cash reward and that is how we were able to bring down the discounts also the other uh, parametrics i mean other, other metrics and parameters i could not bring in but those are all there srishti more uh, uh, thank you very much thank you thank you srishti thanks a lot thanks for the compliment Srishti and myself, we worked together in in uh, Mahindra and Mahindra, Mumbai. <laughs> pour in, guys. Pour in your questions. Pour in your comments. Show some love. Yes, like, comment, do everything. Share. Most important thing is sharing the knowledge. Sharing the knowledge.
Okay. Okay, Dr. Sandhya Rani said, we are not going to stop it. It's your wish. How many questions you want to take, you might continue to take. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. How to sell products when in competition in big companies? What are the strategies to follow? Shailendra, I think this is a very good question. Whenever the companies are big, the employees behave like employees. Whenever the companies are small, the employees behave as owners. If they are not behaving as owners, then the management must treat them and induce that feeling of ownership in them. And there is always a difference when an employee goes to sell and when the owner goes to sell. That's my suggestion to you. Small companies have better chances of succeeding because you uh, will sell like an owner, but not as an employee. Oh yeah, correct. <laughs> one of my Pradeep, one of my team members was saying, yes, I was giving, I, I, I mean, there were many, I, as I said, right, you should never step back for rewards. When something good is happening, you should reward. And I was giving Amazon vouchers, I was giving pens, uh, we were going to uh, uh, multiple dinner parties, lunch parties, uh, um, and I used to spend one-on-one -on -one times with them. So, I mean, I really thoroughly enjoyed I, I, The best times for me to think innovatively was between 12 o'clock in the night and 2 o'clock in the 12 to 2, 12 to 2, 3, because by 11, 12, all my sales would happen and then I, I, I wrap up my books after that night and then I submit my reports and then I would think, okay, what went right today? What went wrong? What else can be done so that my, 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 my team can do much better tomorrow? As sales leaders, your job is to equip, equip your sales team to do exceptionally good. So there is some question here. Let me see what the question is. Uh, Let me let me see that question. So I have uh, I saw a question. Yeah, Amazon watches also. Santosh Chapiala, did you write a question? I saw you commenting somewhere. And yeah, what do you think about the market down? Down the line six months due to this COVID-19 as everyone are getting stopped to invest money. Yeah, Santosh, you're right. People will find it very difficult to open up uh, their pockets just like that. Uh, uh, so then they will prioritize. They will definitely, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, they will definitely prioritize what to buy, what not to buy. Now, as a sales person, your ability and your success lies in how do you bring your product into their priorities. How do you bring your product into their priorities? And if you are able to do that well, the sale will happen. For example, for example, just an example. When the COVID-19 thing started, the chicken prices came down from 200 rupees to 30 rupees per kilo, right? <laughs> and then uh, the mutton prices also have come down. But look at now, it is COVID time and then the mutton per kilo is around 840 rupees. Still people buy, right? Because that's the priority for them. They said, yeah, let me have mutton at least once. The chicken is again still 200 rupees. There are still fears that uh, there are still fears people carry that will eating chicken bring me COVID-19. But still, the chicken is maintained at 200, 200 rupees. And then last Sunday when I went for the shops, there was a hell lot of a line. They were able to put the right priority there. Yeah, ask. Go ahead. I'm I'm I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying answering your questions. Can you display your LinkedIn contact? Let me put my LinkedIn contact in the in the chat window so that you can follow me and uh, um, yeah, you can stay in touch with me. So I'm putting in the comments, my friend. Yeah, that's my LinkedIn contact. I see Yogaraj is there, Pradeep is there. Good. Manohar is there. And let me tell you, I, this I, never, I, I forgot, guys. The conventional way of hiring sales team is hiring people from uh, Unilever's background, hiring people who are selling Eureka Forbes, hiring people like that, right? Hiring people who are selling cell phones, SIM cards, etc. But then I said, no, I don't need these regular sales guys. I need engineers. I need people who have completed their BTECs but yet want to try themselves into sales, right? And I hired as many engineers as possible in my team. And then they were able to connect very well. Simple, right? Okay, I may not be an IITN, but I'm from NIT. I may not be from NIT, but I'm from, say, CBIT. 
right so every student has got an aspiration and everybody is a successful and accomplished guy he is is his his accomplishment could be an aspiration and inspiration to somebody let me take the other questions how to handle bad debt sales uh, uh, how about companies who are okay one one by one just a minute let me first look at the bad how to handle bad debt sales should we make rigid sop for sales yes your sop should be watertight and and your sop whatever the process and procedures that you make you need to be watertight there cannot be any leakage again when you bring integrity when you address that integrity right people once who started the taste of being honest and being uh, uh, integral a uh, being with integrity and then uh, who tasted that success they will never go back so work on those all your bad debt sales and bad sales everything will come down and yeah your process also needs to be strong all as much as possible remove the human intervention and make it uh, automated is my suggestion how about companies who are into pv structures or seed structures what could they do to get sales after covid okay that's a good question always look out for market opportunities for example what's happening in the market right now we are all sitting at home but then the infra work is happening the roads are being laid the buildings are being built the bridges are being built that means the steel and the cement industries are uh, are running right so use that opportunity watch out for the market bring the right things there will definitely be a slow down right uh, post this covid 19 effect but that slow down is going to be for everybody so it is like this so far you are playing at a play, uh, uh, at a level this at this point next time you will play here there is not a level disparity you will play at a less uh, a different lower level that's it so the fundamentals and these things remain the same as they are uh, uh, now post the covid 19 also nothing will change let me look at the next question how to decide how much incentives incentives to be given to them to the team members yeah simple yeah your pnl you need to have visibility to your pnl for example what is the revenue that i am generating what are my fixed costs that are going what is my operations cost that is salary etc that are going then you will understand for each uh, i mean uh, for, uh, for the for the cost of every product how, what is the percent of product is actually consumed into these your costs and then you have your profit margins now from the profit margins if you want to accelerate your top line you will have to reduce your percentage of profit margin however your absolute numbers will be still bigger because your top line is bigger so you will have to do that again as i said right sales is both science and art it is not just art people will not buy just because uh, not to offend uh, because i'm uh, uh, i would, i'm a patanjali and i i make tricks right people would have seen some value in that right there is science so you need to get into the details you need to make the right strategies get into your pnl start looking at your pnl structures and identify whatever you wanted to uh, um, uh, what is the percentage you wanted to give on a thumb rule i think up to 5% to 7% of your top line i would say 5% to 7% of your top line can be spared only for incentives that's what i was following okay you see this uh, as i always said right it is always about making the right things let me put one slide uh, for you look at what my colleague and my friend commented rohan always do the right thing is something which i have learned from you your energy is extremely infectious and i mean adjective my adjective is here okay use success in gati etc okay uh, the point i wanted to bring here is do the right thing do the right thing and there is never a wrong time to do a right thing don't ever think that you are late do the right thing and the things uh, and the right things will follow chepiala you can ask those questions in the section you need not talk to me personally of course i will answer you even if you talk to me personally also yeah okay i think uh, guys if you have uh, really enjoyed it uh, uh, most of you have already expressed Uh, uh the way you liked it i am very happy uh i am also really happy for having relived those moments while i was making this presentation i think most of my sales team at top and then said you guys i want you to be part of this session because it is going to be our time tomorrow right and i slept at around 3:34 but i never felt 
uh, that week because that's what sales is. Sales is fun, guys. Don't ever uh, look at it with uh, any kind of uh, uh, detachment. Sales is fun, and everybody will everybody will uh, enjoy, and everybody can do sales, right? Okay, there are around sixty people still watching there. You have my credentials. You have my. Uh, let me put that slide for you. And if you want, you can always reach out to me. I will be signing out uh, uh, in probably another two uh, five minutes time. We'll take last few questions, and I will sign out. And then you can uh, reach out to me. You can also subscribe. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel where I will continue to speak on uh, electric vehicle technology. Now I'll speak on sales. I'll also talk about strategies going forward. I will also talk about the journey of an engineer, uh, journey of a graduate from an engineer to chief operating officer, which is a new thing that would come. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on LinkedIn. And this Friday we are doing one session on stress. I recommend as many as possible be part of it because good panelists. I mean, people from MIT in the US, uh, doctors from Hyderabad who have been uh, professional consultants and practicing psychologists and uh, pran healers and. Life coaches, these guys, if they have to do a session, they charge in thousands, right? But when I communicated, uh, when I told my incentive, my my intention uh, to to help uh, the community at large, they said that we will do it free of cost. We also want to help people, so make use of that opportunity. Make use of the opportunity. Participate in the panel discussion. Ask your questions and get rid of the stress. We need to have a wonderful uh, life, uh, right? And a happy and joyful life. Life without regrets. Life without worries. And definitely life without stress. What roles does a salesperson believe in the product or service play in the sales volume? I would say seventy to eighty percent role it plays. Because simple, yeah. If you yourself is not convinced, see, I I, I understand what you are coming from. You may not have you may not have a good opinion about your company. Maybe they didn't treat you well. Or you yourself know that the product is bakwas and etc. That's okay. Every product has got its plus and minus. For example, when I worked in TVS Motors company, <laughs> I, I knew what those products are. People would say Apache is a great product, Star City is a great product. Yes, those are great products. But then, since I have the access and visibility, I know what is right and what is wrong. Okay. Uh, since you have the access to that product, you know what is minus and plus. But that's okay. Plus and minus will be there. But love your product, love your company. Only when you have that love, you can demonstrate that love and passion at your customer. You might be wondering why I'm looking here and there. There are two screens. One we are streaming on Facebook, and other on on uh, uh, on the team meeting. That's why. Yes, Dr. Sanjay Rani also posted my my details there. Contact details. Okay, people. I think it was great interacting with all of you. Thank you very much for this wonderful evening, and God bless you all. Enjoy, enjoy um, uh, the rest of the lockdown. Invest time into your skills. Hone your skills. attend more such webinars gather as much knowledge as possible and i want to see as much and all of you flourish as much as possible all the very best thank you very much bye god bless you signing signing off oh thank you thank you dr sandhya thanks a lot bye bye yeah thanks thank you thank you